Today we're going to turn this into this. G'day YouTube, Down the Bricks here. In this week's video, we're going to be looking at how I'm going to ballast my train track. And I'm going to do it in a bit of a tutorial style video. So if you want to do the same thing, this is the video for you. So today we're going to ballast straight train track and curved train track and I'm going to show you how I'm going to lock down those curves so they're nice and secure. In a number of videos I've watched, I've seen where people have said you, know, you only need 12 pieces, 20 pieces, 30 pieces, 50 pieces per straight track so it's not a lot of pieces. Well let me tell you, whatever technique you're going to be using, you're going to need a lot of parts and it's going to be quite expensive to ballast your train track. Now I don't have a huge city, it's not a small city, but it's not one of the biggest, and I actually have 138 pieces of straight track. So even at 20 pieces per straight piece of track to ballast that track, you're looking at just under 2,800 parts. So it's no small number. Now if I throw in a bit of rock work as well, you know, you're looking at 44 pieces, that's the number I'm going to be using per straight track, 44 pieces. So now I'm up over 6,000 pieces just for my straight track. So that does include the eight corners I've got with all the tiles underneath and two ballasts as well. So it's a lot of pieces, so don't let anyone fool you into believing that you're not going to need a lot of pieces to ballast your train track. Now I'm going with like I said, a pretty simplified method. If you go to a mills plate system or if you want to completely cover in your train track and go with single stud sleepers, single stud width sleepers for your train track, you're going to need a lot more pieces than what I'm using. So with the method I'm going to use, I'm going to use 20 what I call more substantial pieces and now I'm going to use 24 small pieces. So that's just single stud. So a total of 44 pieces to ballast my straight train track. Now I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to do my train track. I had a central idea that I was going to raise it, I was going to run it over tiles, but I wasn't sure how I was going to get a uniform ballast look between the straight and the curved track. Not until I found a video by Robin Hood Bricks who gave me this idea. So I'm going to put a link in the description. Please go and check him out. He's got tutorials on it as well. But I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So let's take a look. So here we have a straight piece of track. The biggest problem that we have with train track is once you add the curves and you lock down your straight track, the corners don't lock down and they flop around and it's very annoying, very unsightly. So the only way to fix that is elevate your straight track. So we're going to start with our substantial parts, 20 parts here. So these parts aren't going to be cheap. So what we need is four 1x8 dark bluish grey plates. And we put four down like so. So basically these are just going to be going under your train track like that. And then that elevates your straight track. And then when you attach your curved track, you can run tiles underneath here that will keep that nice and level. So to finish off your straight track, we use four two by four dark blue gray plates. We put those in the center. And that's the main guts of your train track. And then we're going to use two by four tiles in reddish brown for your sleepers. Now, you can use black, you can use light bluish gray, you can use whatever color you wanna go with, but I've decided to go with the reddish brown and I'm gonna put full tiles on the end. So that's gonna lock all your train track together. So we put in four of those and then we need one by two tiles for the ends, and we're just going to put that like so. And that is the base of 
your ballast system. And clip those on. And now, for the less substantial pieces, how studs, I'm using tiles here. We're going to use six of those for the stonework. And we're going to use six per each gap here. And just to help finish off the look, I'm just going to add a couple more tiles here just so you can picture the look of the straight track. But that's the easy part. How do we tile under the curved piece of track and keep this uniform look going around the corners? So this will be the two corners that I work on today. I've already got the foundation for one corner laid and I've got the foundation in here for two pieces of straight track. So you can see the pieces I mentioned for a straight track. The pieces over here I have used some different pieces because you can basically use whatever you've got in your kitty to reduce the number of parts you need to purchase. Now. I'm going to do this in a time lapse. If you want to watch me do it exactly, you can slow the playback down. If you go down to the bottom right hand corner of your video screen, you will see a little cog icon for your settings. You click on that and you can actually slow the playback down. So if you're wanting to get a better look at this time lapse, you can slow the video down and see exactly what I'm doing. So now we can add our track. And clip it all down. And you can see, once it clips on, that that is all now secure on the corner. And now we can get a uniform look for our sleepers and our rock work from the straight on to the curve. So let's do that. Now I don't have enough 2x4 reddish brown tiles so I'm going to use two 2x2 two two tiles just so we can get this corner done.
So now we have a uniform look going from straight track onto the corners. It's all secure. And I think that looks pretty good. Now I have a lot more track to go. And I predict some sore fingers in my future. <laughs> But if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment below. Any questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button because i got stacks more on the way, especially city, but plenty city to come. So big thank you for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.